Qualcomm out with a number of key AI announcements, including new chips, as the company faces off against other competitors in this chip race. They're here to discuss is Yahoo Finance's Ali Garfinkel and Dan Howley. Ali, let's start with you. What is the latest we got here from Qualcomm? Josh, Qualcomm's coming out here swinging, really trying to make the case for itself as an AI play. Now, the approach they're taking is what they call on-device AI, AI that is meant to be more efficient on your devices, whether that's your smartphone or your laptop. And there are two new chips to this end that they have announced today. The first one is called the Qualcomm Orion CPU. Now, this is a chip specifically for PCs, and it is attached to what they're calling their Snapdragon X Elite Compute platform. Now, the most important thing to know about the Orion is that Qualcomm's making some pretty impressive claims about it, some pretty hefty claims. What it's saying is that the processing power is faster than a lot of ARM-based competitors. That's a group that includes Google and TSMC, and that it hits the peak performance of chips from companies like Intel and Apple. So that's going to be something that you should be expecting them to see them really make a case about sooner rather than later, and it's something they're going to be talking about a lot. Now, the other chip they announced is called the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Now, this is a chip for smartphones, and it was built with generative AI in mind. The goal is actually that you can run large language models like ChatGPT or Meta's Llama 2 on your smartphone. Now, this is specifically for Android smartphones, and it's important to remember here that these chips, while they are AI chips in the sense that they are meant to work with AI, they are not the AI chips that we are talking about from NVIDIA. These are CPUs. NVIDIA's GPUs are what are being used to train AI models. So in the end, don't expect Qualcomm to come in and solve that massive chip shortage that we've all been talking about. But I will say that the success of these chips, I think, is going to be really key for Qualcomm's case as an AI play moving forward. And Dan, let's bring you into this conversation, right? Um, there's a lot going on in the world of semiconductors right now. We have these announcements from Qualcomm. There was a report yesterday that NVIDIA was looking at developing CPUs. Put it all together for us like, and sort of paint the competitive landscape for us. Yeah, so the, the idea here with, with the NVIDIA CPUs is that these would also be for uh, PCs. They would be for Windows. Uh, PCs competing alongside of these these Qualcomm uh, chips as well as Intel chips and AMD chips. So really this is uh, opening up the landscape. Got to caveat the, the NVIDIA part with uh, they didn't uh, want to comment. Uh, this was a report from Reuters. Uh, but the, you know, the, the landscape now is going to be infinitely more competitive for, for Intel. Uh, I think it's important to point out that, you know, unlike Apple, which uh, has an ARM-based CPU uh, and runs them as the the M1, the M2, and uh, the anticipated M3. Uh, Qualcomm, Nvidia, they don't run the software that powers the PCs. That's Microsoft. Apple has the benefit of running the software, so they have you know soup to nuts control over the the system. For I Nvidia and Qualcomm, uh, it's going to be a little bit more difficult uh, to perhaps truly catch up to uh, what Intel and AMD are doing when it comes to overall performance. Now, you know, the the, the, the companies uh, in the case of Qualcomm uh, cite uh, overall performance compared to uh, Intel chips, but, you know, it, it really comes down to when you get them into consumers' hands, do they, do they match up? And, you know, Qualcomm has been in this space before. Uh, they had worked with Microsoft on a Surface device uh, running a Qualcomm chip. Uh, so we, we, we just need to see if that actually equates to, you know, a, a big amount of power and a big amount of battery life. So that's really the, the key here, I think, overall is, you know, Apple managed to put out the M1, the M2, the M3. They can last a long time and have plenty of power. Can Qualcomm, can Intel, can AMD, can NVIDIA do that with a Windows PC? And that's going to be a big deal if they can. And then can they gather a lot of revenue and market share from it eventually? We'll see what happens. You guys, thank you so much for putting this story in perspective for us, our Ali Garfinkel and Dan Halley. And we're going to continue this conversation, by the way. Be sure to tune in to Yahoo Finance tomorrow. We will be speaking with Qualcomm CEO and President Cristiano Aman. We don't want to miss that conversation.